you'd think we'd need a miracle for Lucas to pull this off. The thing is, he was like a magnet for that kind of luck. There's that saying about lightning striking twice, yet Lucas had managed to find himself first at Tobruk and then at El Alamein. The world knew of an Allied victory in North Africa. But it wasn't because of British commanders or mighty tanks. Lucas had the untold story, and Richter was eating it up. himself a big snippy today. He must smell a promotion. After the intel that we dropped on that wanker, this is the plan that he comes up with. Buckley's chance is gonna work. What's he saying, Jacobs? Oh, he's personally thanking you and Des for being stand-up chaps. It's stuffed. It's king and country. It's always king and country. <sighs> Bloody hell, is that what I think it is? Where'd you swipe that from? I found it lying around. Oh. He catches you with that, you're a dead man. I'll drink to that. Bloody hell! Hey. Stop talking! And move around! Return fire! Mortar wankers aren't gonna 
kill themselves! Focus on those border wankers! Keep pushing!
my guy. The Major, we are being torn apart. I gave you an order. Form the perimeter, protect the armor. Sir, you gotta be bloody joking. We will hold this line. Our air support is fucked. If we don't deal with those flat cannons, there's not gonna be a fucking line. You have your orders. Bugger the orders. We are taking that hill. Alone? Yeah, I got me and I got Des. Fucking oath. Here, take this. You clear those flat cannons, shoot this flare nice and high, then I know to radio our bombers. Good luck. Let's go. I hope Jacobs and Bluey can hold out. until the bombers arrive. Help me with this MG. Uh, 
There. Dez, fire the flare! I didn't expect today to end like this. Ah, fuck it, why not? Let's do this! As usual, I'll do all the work. Yep, we're going out. Let's take as many of these bastards with us as we can. Yes. Jacob saw your flare 
this! Running after this! Sometimes, the only way to honor a fallen soldier is to finish the mission. But try remembering that while that blood stains your boots. That's what I told Lucas when we first met. War had taught us both that lesson. The rigid hierarchy of Allied command would look at Lucas and see only character flaws. Insubordinate, churlish, no stranger to a prison cell. He was perfect for my team. Even if he does have a mean right hook, 